Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing EcoQuest. Uh, in the previous episode, we had made it to this town, actually in the first episode, and once we made it to this town, we have gone around and just sort of cleaned things up, met the mayor or the senator, whatever he wants to call himself, and um, figured out that the town is a kind of warships and was protected by a giant whale named Cetus. Uh, but they're also um, terrorized by a giant manta ray named Man, or they call him Maneater. Um, but nobody wants to come out due to the manta ray and so what is this wisps of oogie green stuff occasionally float by adam doesn't know what it is but he knows he doesn't want to get near it Don't worry about that oogie green stuff we'll figure that stuff out anyhow so we're going to go to the uh, apartments and go ahead and see if we can start convincing some of the people in this town to, to join the meeting and figure out how to do deal with the manta ray problem and the cetus missing problem hey what you doing there stranger i'd like to go Whatever inside and visit the fish nope 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 no can do i'm gregarious and i'm supposed to keep strangers out you are That's gregarious job, and i don't know you from adam but I am Adam. Literally. Sorry, sorry. No can do. You need a pass to get in. Yep, a pass. Where can I get that? Oh you got me. <laughs> I'm just the watchman. Hmm. I have a warrant to search these premises, sir. Will this do? The mayor said it was a badge. Well, I'll be a starfish sticking to a reef shark's back. A badge from the mayor? Why didn't you say so, stranger? Um, Kinda visitor, cut me off. feel free to look around. A plastic baggie floats down from the surface. That's not good. Before Adam can grab it. What were you thinking? The little blowfish panics and inflates. And gets stuck in his apartment window too fat to get through. <laughs> Let's help him out. Adam yes, pushes gently on the panicked blowfish, hoping to help him get back into his apartment. Adam's landed in the little blowfish's apartment and landed hard. If you can, in water. There's no one there to talk to. The little blowfish is too upset to be calmed down by a stranger like Adam. Talking won't help. Let's get that bag off of him. Adam very carefully unwraps the plastic and frees the frightened blowfish. It then sticks him and poisons him. And he's Are you okay? Over. But of course. Ah, Nelsis cannot be distressed by mere mortal danger. <laughs> Man, no. I did not even see the jellyfish that attacked me until I ate it. It wasn't a jellyfish, it was a plastic baggie. A human product, I'm afraid. A baggie? Plastic? How can I avoid what I cannot see? Yeah. But who are you? And why are you so ugly, if you pardon my French? I'm Adam. And I'm a human boy. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a human before? But of course. I am not Le Bib. I have known many humans quite intimately. Okay. Are we about to get intimate? Cause... You're an artist, right? <laughs> okay. Is Woo. this your painting? So to get worried there. Ah, my latest masterpiece. The negative space gives it a certain je ne sais quoi to this amusing little waterscape. Don't you agree? It's very nice. Well, it's fini now. I had a terrible time with it. Those sea urchins will not sit still. They have no appreciation for Le Artiste. They're like the slowest moving thing ever. Really that much of a problem, huh? Since you have saved my life, mon ami, why don't you take these petite sea urchins? It is a humble gift, perhaps. But then, having the pleasure of meeting me more than compensates. Nest yes. Yes, it does. Thanks, Narcissus. Oh, and now that you're okay, the mayor would like to see you in the council's chambers for our meeting. The mayor? But of course he wants me there. Say no more, uh, boy. I go now. 
Bonne chance, mon ami. Good luck to you as well. My friend, mon frère, my brother. All right, let's clean this bag up real quick. Adam picks up the plastic baggie and puts it in his garbage bag so that it won't be able to trap any other sea creatures. That's quite a statue. Apparently, this fish has a certain fascination with himself. It makes sense. That statue is very nice, but only a blowfish would be interested enough in the subject matter to truly appreciate it. The painting and easel belong to the blowfish. That may be so. I want them anyway. On the easel is a waterscape featuring an undersea mountain and various forms of sea life, including the sea urchins on the nearby table. There's an interesting little shell table next to the easel. It holds the blowfish's painting subjects. The blowfish displays one of his paintings on the wall. Mm. Okay. Well, let's start. From left to right, that's how I'll do it. Starting from the bottom left over, we'll work our way through. Oh, there we go. Narcissus's apartment light is out, now that he's left for the council oh. chambers. Okay, so we gotta go to the ones that have lights on. We'll still start here. Whoa, dude, who are you? I'm, a human. I'm Adam. I came to tell you about a meeting the mayor's called in the council chambers. I'm Epidermis. I'd love to, like, surf on over there, but I got my own problems, man. Sorry. Epidermis. What's, What's wrong? I'm gonna have to, like, remove myself from Aluria, man. Hit the road, wave a fin, become a memory. Way bummer, man. Why? I'll be like. Totally lost out there in the big old sea, all by myself. Shark food, that's me. Why do you have to leave? I only eat one kind of plant, and we've been having this major algae problem. Just look at my potted garden. There's not one inch of algae-free leaf left in the whole city. Wow, my dad says chemical phosphate pollution in the water causes algae growth. But I never thought about it making fish's food grody. Phosphates, huh? Guess I'll have to, like, look for some place where there are no phosphates? No sharks or flesh either. Good luck with that. Oh. Huh. The angelfish's plants are all covered with algae. The cloth has oil on it from cleaning the oily shell. I'll put oil on it. Adam is carrying sea urchins given to him by Narcissus in thanks for saving him from a plastic baggie. The sea urchins are small creatures that eat algae. Perfect. Watch out for those sea urchins' spine. We'll put this in to deal with the algae problem. Adam swims over to Epidermis's food plants and puts the sea urchins on the algae-covered leaves. The sea urchins begin to eat the algae. Gosh, they must have been hungry, too. Hey, what's the story with the sea urchins, dude? They eat algae. The sea urchins eat algae. They'll clean up your plants, okay? But we need a whole army of sea urchins to clean up all the algae in the city. Uh, we can worry about that later, dude. For now, I'm just happy to have some food in my belly. Epidermis happily munches on the algae-free areas the urchins are making. Oh, way better. You think I should, like, go to the meeting after all? Yes. Sure. Maybe together you can think of a way to make things better in the city. And I could tell them about the urchins. Cool. I'm way glad I don't have to leave home. At least not right away. Let me give you one of my shells. I'm totally into shells. Maybe you can start your own collection. Mike, what kind of shells? A billion of entire different types. I like this one best because it's sharp as a knife. Just don't cut yourself, dude. That'll and be now useful. I'm history, man. Like, hang cool. See you later. Bye, Epidemic.
hypodermis, and thanks for the shell. So far, so lucky. Got a sharp... Uh, There's a poster of Marlon Monroe on the wall. I figured it would be a, a fish joke of some kind. I was like, it looks like Marilyn Monroe, but what are they going to call her? I, was, I thought it was going to be like Roe as in like fish eggs, but... There's a poster of the talking fish heads on the wall. Talking heads. Luckily for Epidermis, he won't be needing his hobo stick now that he can stay a while longer in Illyria. Can I have his hobo stick? Adam doesn't need the hobo stick. Besides, it belongs to the angelfish. He doesn't need it anymore. If he doesn't need it, why would I have to leave it? Alright, one light down. Epidermis's apartment light is out, now that he's left for the council chambers. Next apartment. I don't know if anybody's here. Apparently, no one lives in this apartment. Yeah, I was gonna say by the look of it. It's my new apartment. Never coming home, Dad. <laughs> Well, what you need now, Adam? Well, there's a meeting that needs to be happening, so maybe I can help you with something. Why are you so blue, Gregarious? I'm, uh, holding my breath. Why on earth are you doing that? You see these bandages? I keep getting hit by the same dumb speedboat every time I go up to the surface to breathe. Dang propellers. I'm just not going up there no more. But so you've been holding your breath this whole time. You have to go up to breathe real air or you'll suffocate. Yeah. Nope, 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 don't care. I ain't going. That preparer <laughs> has gotten the last piece of gregarious amenity by a gill. How about if I go up there with you? You can show me the boat while we're up there. Maybe I can do something about their propellers. Gee, Adam. You do that? <laughs> I do what I can. What a pal. Follow me. If nothing else, Adam follows some air this time. as he leads the way up out of the city towards Dude, the ocean surface. Man, he's got a mighty butt crack. A load of garbage appears from somewhere above. Can I get it? Ouch! Uh huh. I can't interact with it. Oh, it sure feels good to breathe. Yeah, that ain't normal. Is this the boat? Yup. Gosh darn propellers, anyway. The boat has a large motor attached to its stern. Judging from Gregarious' scars, the underwater blades are uncovered and are dangerously yeah, sharp. The motor is currently off. The fisherman has a face as tanned and wrinkled as old leather. Though he looks as tough and steady as a rock, he doesn't appear to be particularly unkind or spiteful. Yeah, it's probably just as no. The fishing boat is anchored. Okay. Let's talk to him, see if he can hey, communicate. Hey, Mr. Fisherman. A mermaid. Who said that? Oh, that'd be like a pirate sound. I'm down here. Oh, a diver, eh? Why didn't you say so, cockamamie kids? We just swam up through some of your trash. Lots of creatures have to live in the ocean. You shouldn't dump your stuff in here, you know. What's that? Creatures, is it? What do you think I'm fishing for? The ocean's a big place, matey. That little bit of trash ain't gonna hurt them fishies none. But, yeah, it does. but it does. You wouldn't believe all the trash down there. Anyway, that's not what I came to talk to you about. It's about Gregarious. Go who? Gregarious? That's a heck of a name for just a dumb manatee. And what's all them bandages for, anyhow? Because you keep hitting him with your propellers. Well, maybe propellers, if he'd stay away from my propellers. my propellers. Did that? He says every time he comes up to breathe, your boat runs into him. Well, I'll be a land lover. What do I do about that? The kid sounds like Linus, a little bit from the from the peanuts. I put a cage. Good on. idea, but Adam needs some way to fasten the cage to the boat. 
Okay. Well, this cage is like the ones my dad uses to cover their propellers on our lab boats. I bet it would work just as well on your propeller blades. I'm not sure I'm getting you, kid. But if you just want to take a shot at trying it, I won't holler none. I will once I get a uh, screwdriver or something because I don't have a toolkit. So we got to go back down. Check the other apartments. Done that one. There should be nobody in this one. Oh, Lord, there's already trash again, too. Apparently. Apparently nobody lives here. A water pump, old but still working, lies on the ocean floor. It must have fallen from the fisherman's boat. Perhaps he got a newer model. Perhaps I should keep this. Adam snags the still functional water pump. Adam doesn't want to touch that sticky, gucky old bottle. Okay, what's this one? This the fisherman sandwich. seems partial to sushi sandwiches. Ha! Huh. I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, let's recycle Adam up the rest of the trash. Adam just says no and trashes the wine bottle. Yeah. Adam mm. gives the sushi a decent burial. Why didn't right. sushi sandwiches? Adam makes a clean sweep of the garbage around the fish apartments. Again. All right, those are done in his place there. So let's go up to the next one. We've already done that guy. So we only have those two or three left. Hello. The swordfish has gotten his snout trapped in the plastic rings from a six pack of soda. The plastic is tight and he can't open his mouth enough to eat. Or speak, maybe? <laughs> I seem to have a problem, my good man. I guess so. That looks painful. How did you get your nose stuck in those That looks like a you problem, rings? sir. I was digging for food like I always do. These abominations was under the fat. Hmm. Well, I got a sharp shell, so let's use that. Nice. I have a shell with a sharp edge. Let me see if I can get the rings off. Be careful, young man. A snout is a terrible thing to wait. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> Better. Ah, oh, what blessed relief. I was afraid I was a bit doomed, good fellow. But your speedy and accurate surgical techniques were my salvation. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Hippocrates, chief surgeon, hmm. and that is, surgeon, surgeon. of Aloria. Yes, okay. And who might I have the pleasure of addressing? Adam. I'm Adam, a friend of Delphinius. Ah, a delightful chap, Delphinius, and in perfect medical condition. Do you need a checkup, lad? I must confess, I know distressingly little about human anatomy, but you're simple creatures. It can't be that difficult. Uh, I don't need a checkup. I came to tell you about a meeting the mayor's called in the council chambers. A meeting? Good show. That's just the ticket for what ails us. Before I go, let me express my gratitude by giving you these fishbone tweezers. Perhaps they will serve you someday as you have served me. Thank you, buddy. Adam catches the fishbone tweezers. Thank you, Hippocrates. I'm sure Here's I'll find you this one. May you live many days, Adam, and be well. Are you going to the meeting? Because that's where you should be headed. Adam picks up the six pack rings. Let's chop these things up. Major ecological sensitivity man. Adam cuts apart the plastic circles of the six pack rings and puts them in his garbage bag. There you go. Gotta do it the right way. You can't just throw it away. You need to throw it away after you get the holes broken. I do that to this day. Uh, as a kid, I knew that one. I had seen it somewhere, maybe. Hippocrates' apartment light is out now that he's left for the council chambers. Mm -hmm. 
next. Hello. It's a British turtle. The poor sea turtle appears to have something stuck in his throat. He's having trouble breathing. Uh-oh. A long white string hangs from his throat. Now where has Adam seen string like that before? A red deflated balloon is lying on the floor. It looks like balloon. it came from the same bunch of red balloons that the boy on the cruise ship was playing with. So that's what Adam saw in the courtyard. Yeah. But it floated up and he got a hold of it. Let me just recycle this real quick. Adam picks up the deflated balloon and puts it into his garbage bag so that another animal doesn't swallow it. Like this poor guy. I'm guessing. I'm assuming he can't talk. Let's see. The sea turtle can't talk to Adam while his throat is blocked. I'm going to try to get the blockage out of your throat. Steady now. Adam pulls on the string. Boy, it's really in there. Well, that didn't help much. The string came off, but whatever is stuck in the turtle's throat is still in there. All right. Let's try to use our fancy new tweezers on it. Let's try this again. Open wide now. Adam uses the tweezers to reach carefully into the sea turtle's mouth and grasp the end of the object blocking his small throat. Now go, ah, uh, go up your throat. I say that was terribly nice of you. I was having the most dreadful time breathing. That was a balloon I pulled out of your throat. Why'd you eat that? Hey, probably I mistook knows. it for a particularly delectable dark comestible. My error, and a nearly fatal one. My throat, you see, is quite miniature. The rubbery texture of that balloon blocked it completely. They sometimes find huge whales who have been killed just by swallowing a little balloon. Ah, yes, my equally small-throated brothers. But I get ahead of myself. Huh. I am I erroneous, that. professor of most of the fish in these parts. It's a pleasure to finally meet a human. I've taken quite a scholastic interest in you, as a species, that is. I noticed the flag. I'm Adam, and I actually find animals more interesting than humans. But maybe that's because I am one. Ah, yes. We're often intrigued with the unknown. You're an animal or you're a human? tell the citizens <laughs> about a meeting at the council chambers. Well, I shall certainly want to contribute to that ostentatious affair. Who the fuck's this guy talking? But first, there we go. Let me persuade you to assume responsibility for these four little human objects I found. They might be troublesome if left floating about. I doubt they'll float. Four metal screws. Perfect. Yes, the size makes them particularly likely candidates for swallowing. I'll take care of them for you. Never said that this game was complex. Well, I'll go kids. join my fellow citizens now. Be well, my human friend. It's been a pleasure. He had a little thing on his head. Thought he was wearing a haircut, uh, like a shower cap or something. But I don't know if that was just one of them little fever bags. You fill it with ice or hot water. Alrighty, let's uh, recycle this as well. Adam picks up the deflated balloon and puts it into his garbage bag so that another animal doesn't swallow it. And let's go back up top. I do believe we can go ahead and fix this guy's boat. Erroneous' oh, apartment light is out now that he's left for the council chambers. You know what? I'll make that the last thing I do. Let me check these other two. This one should be empty. It is. Apparently. Okay. Nobody lives here. This one has a light on it, though. A beautiful lionfish floats stunned and unconscious in the water. Stunned from what? The water is filled with a milky substance. It makes Adam dizzy. Oh no! A bottle of chlorine bleach! Oh, Tropical fish collectors line. use bleach to stun fish so that they can catch them easily. The lionfish really? must have found the bottle up on the reef. Good idea. There. Try using the garbage bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, lady. 
Adam picks up the bleach bottle and stores it away in his garbage bag. That stops new bleach from leaking into the water, but the apartment is still full of this stuff. Uh, we have a water pump. That should work. That's a good idea, but Adam needs to pump the contaminated water out of the room somehow. Through the window? There you go. Adam uses the water pump to cycle the old contaminated water out into Dead the much bigger area pumping. of the open sea. The room slowly clears of bleach. Feel better, fish? Oh my! What happened here? When you were knocked out, you used a bottle of bleach your for your table, and the bleach knocked you out. I'm afraid bleach is one of those man-made dangers you'll have to watch out for. How are you feeling now? I I'm fine, just a little woozy. My name's Olympia. Who are you? I'm Adam. I'm here to tell our citizens about a meeting in the council chambers. The mayor's asked everybody to come. A meeting? You mean with other fish? Yeah. Uh, I don't Why know. Not? She's I'm also very shy, poisonous. I don't like crowds. Why not? Well, it's my spines, you see. Mm -hmm. They're quite poisonous. I can't help it, you know, but there it is. I'm always afraid that others will be afraid of me, or that somehow accidentally... Swim but you can't just hide in your room. Everyone needs friends. Listen to me, I sound just like my dad. I guess he's right after all. Anyway, I think you're really nice, and I think your spines are cool. Just don't touch them. You like my spines? I never thought anyone would like my spines. Well, maybe I could go. It is important, I think. Maybe your spines could help other citizens. If you truly like my spines, perhaps you'll accept a small gift for saving my life. This locker contains one of my baby spines. It's quite potent, though. Be careful how you use it. Uh. Wow! A lionfish spine! Neat! Thanks, Olympia! Goodbye, Adam. May you be free from stings as long as you live. I'll take it. <laughs> You know, she should be more concerned. If she doesn't leave her house, then someone brought her that bleach bottle. If someone brought her that bleach bottle, then they're out to get her. <laughs> because she's so dangerous to everyone. All right, all we got left is a manatee. Olympia's apartment do. light is out now that she's left for the council chambers. And she, he should still be at the surface, right? I swim, swim, swim. Yes, he is. Adam resurfaces to find Gregarious and the fishermen still eyeing each other suspiciously. <laughs> did you come up with a way to fix them propellers yet, Adam? I sure did. I've got a great. Can I mix them? Adam attaches the four screws to the steel cage. Perfect. Now. You want to give me a hand with this, Gregarious? Sure, Adam. Does he notice that I'm talking to the Adam manatee? and Gregarious swim under the boat to attach Oops, the cage to the propellers. With Gregarious's help, Adam fits the steel cage over the propellers and fastens it on with the four screws. Oh, I see what you're talking about now. That cage jimmies right over them propellers, don't it? Yep. I wouldn't now call you it don't jimmy, have to worry yeah. about the manatees. Thanks, son. You're not too bad for a kid. Thanks for making my boat safe. Guess I'll think about what you said about the garbage dumping. Thanks. Bye now. Also, try not to bonk him on the head. Adam and Gregarious return to the ocean bottom. Or ocean below. Well, all the citizens are gone now. I'm off to the council chambers for the meeting. See you there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Sometime later. We have the meeting now.
I was gonna go there, but apparently they're gonna go on their own. Oh, well, is everybody done? They have oh, a meeting with Adam, me? you did it! Because of you, we Allurians are ready to help ourselves. The Good. new cleanup committee will keep the dangerous garbage from building up around the city, and the Flesh Eater Watch will sound the alarms whenever that horrible monster gets close. And thanks to your little lesson, we know a lot more about the dangers of human garbage and how to avoid them. I wish I could do more. I wish I could stop all this stuff from bothering you at all. Well, when you return to your world, just remember that feeling, and maybe you can help things get better someday. For now, why don't you take this gold mask as a sign of our gratitude? I don't need it anymore. The citizens seem to actually listen to me as little old superfluous. The great senator is gone for good. Good. Thanks, superfluous. I wanted that mask. I mean, Mr. Mayor. I believe this is about as far as I've ever been in this game. I don't think I've ever completed the apartments before as a kid. Illyria is safe for no, the moment. Familiar. What do you mean? Well, the cleanup crews can't stop that horrid green ooze in the water, and Flesh Eater will keep haunting us. And then there's our food supply. <sighs> I think we still have to find Cetus, Adam. Now that the city is okay for a while, I think it's time to go search for him. I How agree. do we start? Remember, the Oracle wanted to see you again? Let's see what she has to say. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I was about to be like, let's get out of here. Forgot that the Oracle asked me to come by once I've solved the problem. Um, let me see. Just let me try it into this wall real quick. And kabook. And come on out. The trident pushes in the three eyes, and the wall trembles. A panel slowly opens. That it does. The fish looks like it's looking at you. It's like a soul fish. Maybe. <laughs> the citizens must give their trust to you alone. Win them, you must. This sign of trust, bring back to me. I and have you it. shall have the prophecy. You shall have the prophecy. Uh, I guess the sign of trust is the mask. Adam hands the gold mask to the oracle, holding his breath with anticipation. <laughs> A sign of trust is given to me, a mask of gold for all to see. Poseidon's favor has been won by the child Adam, the chosen one. Here now is the prophecy. She rhymed one with one, but two different creep, spellings. Rest the poison of the deep. Mm. What came from man must now return. Lest the kingdom die, the oceans burn. Held hostage is the king of peace. None shall be safe till he's released. I feel like only love can face the one most vile to save us all a human child. But how can I save the kingdom? Only fragments can I see, but let me tell them now to thee. Armor for a modern knight, from the depths of glowing light, a net of bones, a wall of stones. A floating orb, a silver wire, will help you in a place most dire. Here on parchment are the clues. May Poseidon watch all you. Adam takes a parchment scroll containing the prophecy from the oracle. Okay. I think it might be um, toxic waste, to be honest. The green stuff that was floating in the water and something that's destroying the land. It might wow, even be why Cetus isn't back. And to think I didn't know if I should bring you, Adam. Let's get started on our quest outside the city. It feels like if you lived here all your life, you'd have known that it would help me. Adam that can't look at the scroll you. right now. He's busy. Try again later. Okay. Busy Click on the is. OK button to go back to the game. I did. We're going to swim up. Up out of the surface, just like, uh, just like the dolphin did. Just like the dolphin did? No? I guess we're gonna go out the normal way.
How do I exit this place? <laughs> I forgot how I got it in the first place. There we go. Come on, Adam. There's a reef south of the city. Let's head out and see what we can find. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did I mention that the word dolphin comes from the Greek word delphinos? Yeah, that would be why your name is Delphinius. I got it. South? This is it, Adam. Ooh. We're on our own now. Right out here in the open sea. What That's an adventure, kinda huh? kind of scary. You're not nervous, are you, Delphinius? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> Who, me? Master of control? Nervous? We've got the prophecy, and we've got our natural talent. So, hey, what the heck? Flesh eater, beware, right? Right, let's explore. This is true. What Bright coral indicates the beginning of a reef area. As a reminder of the disaster that created Illyria, a single soldier's helmet lies at the city's entrance. In the distance is the magnificent city of Illyria. Okay, that's nothing. I thought that was something there. Huh. All right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, she loves herself. But she's in a mass. There's something going on with the light in here and everything. Well, I'm just going to swoops back this way real quick. We'll continue exploring, though. But I'm going to do that in the next episodes. We'll continue to explore the open reef and away from this uh, small town or village uh, and see what else there is to find uh, in these ruins, these Greek ruins. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying this series. And if you have, then I will see you in the next episode of EcoQuest, The Search for Cetus. Have a great, ha blah, 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 blah. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can see another one over here on the right-hand side. And, of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.